Thank you so much for bringing the sweet blood of Jesus to the American Black Film Festival. Talk to me a little bit about this film and what we can expect tonight. It's highly anticipated. People are tweeting, Instagramming, we're ready, so. The Sweet Blood, first of all, the title. Talk to me about the title. The Sweet Blood of Jesus. No, it's The Sweet Blood, because that's what yeah. I've been saying, I The just, Sweet Blood. I, I just said The. Oh, I thought you said The. No, I said The Sweet oh, Blood okay. of Jesus. All right, so what can we expect tonight, man? You know, I, I don't really tell audiences what to expect. You know, okay. I, I respect the intelligence, and uh, I don't tell them what to feel. I don't tell them what they think. I don't okay. tell them what the movie's about or what, or what kind of feelings they should have. I mean, they, they, they'll they feel it. All right. I want to dictate that. Let them, let them, let, let the them, be, let the audience yeah, decide. Let, let them decide. Let them in. Uh, let get, them just get into it. Yeah, let them get to it. I got it. So we just lost an icon, a legend, Ruby D. Talk to me a little bit about the first time Ruby D walked on set for one of your films and what that experience was like for you, for her to be a part of your project. The first time I worked with Ruby was uh, Do the Right Thing. Okay. Amazing experience. And also, when Ruby walked in, she was side by side with Ozzy. So, if I had worked, wow. I worked earlier, Ozzy had worked, did a one day in school days, played the football coach. Okay. But I was very close to him and it was a big, big loss. You know, Ozzy had already left us, and now Ruby this past week. Okay, did you get a chance to see the documentary? Oh, not yet. Not not yet. I'll see it, though. Oh, okay. Right. So what can, we, what can we expect after the sweet blood of Jesus for her at Shelton Lee, for those who went to Morehouse who may know you by the name your mama and daddy gave you? My mother also gave me the nickname Spike, too. Okay, all right. We love you. You know I love you. Uh, more work. More you know, work? Just, just keep doing it. Keep doing more work. Keep being productive. Keep building up my body of work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is like one of the highlights of the 18 years for me because Spike Lee could have premiered his movie anywhere at any festival in the world. I thanked him for bringing it here. I did. I mean, that, that tells you how, how down Spike is, right? You Absolutely. Know, because he could have done this at Cannes. Right. And he decided to do it with us here in New York. And so it's just a really a testament to the kind of man he is. He's really, he's a, he's, a, he's a walking bastion of black culture, you know, and he's, he's just a good guy. He's loyal and he doesn't get enough credit for what he's done for our culture. Absolutely. You know, I, I went to his office about a, a week ago and he's got all the artwork and all the set pieces from all films. Oh, and, wow. and it's like a museum, so we're, I can be more excited about it. Well, listen, Mr. Friday, this is a wonderful legacy you. that you've built. We're excited. You. you have paved the way for so many of us. So I just want to personally say thank you and continue blessings and success. And you are definitely going to see the 50 years that you spoke about opening night. I think, I'll get here. Listen, <laughs> me, look, we'll, we'll do what we have to do to, Let's to, keep, we, to we make have, it happen. We have to keep this going. And we, and we, we need, will. And we need to bring our youth into this process, too. Because Absolutely. It, it, deserves, it deserves to hang around, you know? Well, you've done a fantastic thank job. You. I mean, thank this you. is, look around you. Thank you. This is very humbling. Look yeah. around yeah. you. Yeah. You've done it. Thank you, John. Have you ever had a chance to meet Ruby D? I think I yes, asked you this yes, the other night. Yes, okay. Yes. I produced an award show that she uh, okay. she uh, participated in. And she gave us the right to use the, uh, her husband, Ozzy Davis, as, as one of our award categories. So she, she's okay. been a big inspiration to me personally. Yeah. Well, I mean, this film festival has just been, you know, it was a slam dunk. Thank you. And I just, I can't wait to see what you guys bring next year. Nicole looks Thank amazing you. as always. Like, how, how beautiful, can we get a quick Tell me a little bit about what we can expect tonight from this film, The Sweet Blood, The Sweet Blood of Jesus. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's a horror rom-com, a lot of blood, uh, a little bit of nudity, a lot of good music. Um, great performances from the actors. Wait a minute, what kind of good nudity or bad nudity? Uh, good nudity, good, good nudity. nudity. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All so, right. um, great music, great performances, okay. and a job well done by Spike, as right. usual. So, how did you get attached to the program? Uh, well, I was originally a student of Spike at NYU Film School. Nice. Um, and I grew up professionally through 40 Acres and a Mule Filmworks. Okay. Uh, I started on Inside Man as an intern, and then I just worked my way through the ranks over the years, and now. I'm the editor of The Sweet Blood of Jesus. Well, you can expect uh, a little bit of humor. You okay. can expect uh, a lot of blood. <laughs> you can expect some mystery. You know, you can ex expect all of the elements of the emotional, uh, you know. It's going to touch you in different, many ways. What's the, like, like, what's the movie about? Like, do people want to know what is this movie about? Well, I can tell you what the movie's okay. about. Yeah. The movie's about people who are addicted to blood. 
but it's not Blackula. It's not. It's not a vampire movie. It's werewolves, or you ain't gonna see no fangs. Okay. You know, it's a. It's a metaphor for addiction. I, I don't really know much about the movie. I know that it's a, it's a Kickstarter project. Um, I know Spike's very passionate about it, um, but I, other than that, I don't know much more about. It. I know that I saw a couple of scenes. Okay. Um, I, I didn't quite know what to make of it. Okay. But you know, I'm sure that it'll have a purpose and some sense, and it'll be provocative. Okay. So honored to be in a film with Spike Lee. I you should be. Yes, uh, legendary Spike Lee. Um, I've been watching and following his career for a very long time. Okay. So. Um, it was an amazing experience, and uh, I played Nurse Royster in the film. Okay. Nurse Royster? Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. I'm laughing. Yes. Yeah. What can we expect from Nurse Royster? Nurse Royster um, works in a blood bank, and okay. things go awry, and um, I guess you'll just have to watch to, to find out what happens, but yeah, okay. yeah, right. a, lot, a lot of it is top secret, so I can't top really secret. say too much. Yeah. The closing night film, The Sweet Blood of Jesus, at the American Black Film Festival. Tell me what you thought of the movie. I thought it was interesting. Uh, the metaphors that he used. Okay. Uh, it was about addiction, and I felt like the, the lead male character, his addiction was knowledge. Okay. And female money, and as a result, uh, whatever our addictions are, you have, you have this undeniable uh, desire to quench that thirst. So I get the blood. I think a lot of the visuals are very aggressive. Okay. But that's because Spike wanted that. Right. He wanted to offend us, and I think um, this piece was definitely for the black community. Um, how well, we we're not used to seeing this type of cinematography, number one, yeah. so let's just start with that. So if you can just take that out of the equation and just deal with what the baseline message was, right. I still think it was a pretty powerful film. Yeah, I, I think ultimately the message was it's, it's time um, for change. Yeah. And I think a lot of times we don't realize that we're killing one another. Um, even when the male character, he said, you know, this is what we do. We're, we're breathing life. And it wasn't until he saw that this woman he thought he gave life to killed her child. Yeah. Um, and that was very important that we're killing, in particular, our women. Um, and I think that's why he was over the top with the misogyny, because this is what we've been doing. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's All right. my take. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Tell me what you think of Spike Lee's Kickstarter film, The Sweet Blood of Jesus. The Sweet Blood of Jesus. It was a little confusing for me because I'm not really into the vampire genre, okay. but it was interesting and it was good to see Spike stretch outside of himself and do something different. We have just screened The Sweet Blood of Jesus, the Kickstarter that was all the commotion about Spike Lee. Why do you do a Kickstarter? So we have a movie goer right here. Talk to me a little bit about the movie. Like, what did you think of it? Um, I thought it was extraordinary because I thought that um, I liked the original film. Um, extraordinary, nice. Because okay. I thought the cinematography was great, acting was amazing, uh, and unpredictable for me. Okay. I, mean, I thought that um, it was such a fresh take on the story. You know? I mean, great actors that many of uh, the faces I'd never seen before. One guy, the lead I'd seen in uh, another independent film. But uh, I felt it was such a fresh experience. It was, it was definitely and, beautiful. Yeah, everything, every aspect of it. Um, Best it part of the movie. movie. Pardon me? Best, Best part, part of, of the movie. Best part of the movie, unpredictability. I did not I wasn't sure exactly where it was going. Okay. Best part acting. I okay. thought the acting, the young lady so who the played. First. Yes, I thought the acting was um, cinematography. Okay. I thought this young man who was a cinematographer I thought he was amazing as well. Okay. And it's a beautiful scene, the scenery, just cinema, 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 cinema. I agree with you 199%. So just thank you so much for stopping and chatting with us a little bit. If you see anybody else who's not shell shocked, Please send him out here. <laughs> Thank you. So there we go. Cinematography, great acting, the sweet blood of Jesus, live at the closing film of American Black Film Festival in New York City, The Sweet Blood of Jesus. The Sweet Blood of Jesus, Spike Lee. It was a great movie. I just want to start off and say that to you. The uh, cinematography on that was amazing. I love the shots. I actually, I'm actually an editor and an actor as well. Okay. And, so you uh, get it in its totality. Oh, I, I, I loved it. And, you know, and uh, just taking a piece in and, and portraying it the way you did, putting your Spike Lee touch on it, it was pretty good. Uh, I, I definitely uh, enjoyed myself. Uh, the Sweet Blood of Jesus, if you get a chance to check it out, please check it out. Spike Lee joint. All right, well, there you have it. A real cinematographer, a real editor, a real-life actor. 
given you what he thinks is one of Spike Lee's most amazing pictures. So the sweet blood of Jesus, come, come check it out, support his Kickstarter. Thank you so much. What did you think of the sweet blood of Jesus? I thought it was very interesting. It was definitely different, but you know, we expect that from Spike Lee. He's a creative genius. So yeah, it was, it was definitely interesting. What stood out most to you about the film? The blood. The blood and the addiction to blood, but as he explained, I caught on afterwards that it, it's just a metaphor, and I don't want to give too much away for people that haven't seen it, but in, in seeing it, you realize a lot, you tap into a lot of like, we deal with as people right. in our everyday lives, so yeah. So out of five stars, what would you give this movie, and would you recommend this movie? I would definitely recommend it, and it's Spike Lee, so I'm not going to give it anything less than a five. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. I am with Mr. Anthony Vander. Where are you from, Anthony? I'm from London. You're from London? Yes. Welcome yes. to New York City. Thank you. Thank for the American Black Film Festival <laughs> closing night film, The Sweet Blood of Jesus, directed by Spike Lee, his Kickstarter film. Talk to me a little bit about what you thought of the film. Um, wow. It was, it was crazy. I mean... It, it was a risky film in terms of like there was so much going on to dissect okay. Okay. Um, but for me I, I really 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 liked it um, I'm still I still need time to think about you what gotta process. <laughs> you're still processing Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I know. I know. Um, but there were some moments that I was just like you know it kind of blew me away and I kind like of, which one I mean, there was a lot of blood in it. There was a okay. lot of blood. Well, let's just pretend there is no blood. All right. What scene spoke to you the most? I think it was the scene where um, he was the, the main character was in the church, and it was like okay. Raphael Sadiq was playing yeah. the music, and it was just like focusing on the the main right. character, okay. and you could kind of you could kind of read into his soul, and it's like I felt that was quite universal. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It was okay. So. Um, for me, that scene was really powerful. I mean, there were a lot of powerful scenes. So, what is the main message that you're walking away from tonight? Do you from know? The sweet blood. <laughs> you know what? I thought it was just like, if I was to like break it down, I would okay. say it was a love story. Like, a love story? at the end of the yeah. day, it was a love story, and you it know was. What? There were so many layers. It was sexy. It was beautiful. It was dark. It was, you know. The the sex scenes were crazy. The sex scenes were boss. The sex scenes were boss. I'ma just say that. You ain't gonna see sex scenes in that, like in a movie in London. You ain't, you ain't gonna see that. Wow. Okay. So, um, but yeah, it was. You know, it was powerful. It was. And it was romantic as well. But it was sexy. It, it was definitely very sexy. was. Well, thank you so much for stopping and chatting with us about the film. Thank you. ABFF, the American Black Film Festival, just screened its closing night film. The Sweet Blood of Jesus, which was directed by Spike Lee. So talk to me a little bit about The Sweet Blood of Jesus and what you thought of the film. I actually thought it was a great film. It was very different, different taste on things, and it was very artsy, and I mean, it didn't I really... I really don't like when people take my mic, so I, I got to oh. hold it. Okay, so what now? It was just a different taste on things. It made me think a lot. It wasn't so cliche in terms of a vampire film, and at first I really didn't think it was like that at all. It just made me kind of... My mind drift off into different things and okay. it's very complex. Okay. What's your name and where you're from? My name's Nigel. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Nigel from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So you came all the way from Florida to New York City for the ABFF? Yeah, actually for a web series. Oh, nice. We actually won today. Okay. Close friends. All right. We gotta stay tuned for that. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Ricky W. Jean Francois, also from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm sorry, Ricky, what was your last name? Uh, Jean Francois. Oh, Jean Francois. Okay, all right, so a nice Haitian brother here. Uh, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. All right, so talk to me a little bit about the Sweet Blood of Jesus. Uh, Sweet Blood of Jesus was not a vampire flick at all. It okay. was like a mix between that and like a zombie type thing, but it was really, the underlining storyline was like, a woman like understanding a man's addiction and still being there to like, you know, understand wow, okay. it and- So you found a ride or die chick. In a sense, <laughs> but it's her coming to the sense of her accepting it and accepting a man being a man and understanding that he loves her unconditionally. Right, and, and not trying to change the, the cut of who he is, the essence of who he is. Exactly. Okay, what about you, my dear? I'm Andrea Northern and I'm from Haines City, Florida. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about the film. You just saw it, right? Yeah. Okay, what's the message? It was really good to me. I think that I think it wasn't just one message. I think it was okay. actually a film put out so that you can actually sit and think about what you thought of it. Okay. Because when I first watched it, I was actually kind of like, 
Man, that's confusing. I don't really get what's going on, but I cut, wanted to watch it. And now, after 15, 20 minutes later, I'm actually outside, and I'm like, oh, I got this exactly. from that, and I got exactly. got this from that. But it made me think, and it wasn't something that just came immediately to me. It was just something kind of like going back on recollections of little things that I know prior to just world events. But It's an intellectual film, so you have to be a reader. If you don't read, if you don't broaden your whole horizon, it'll go over your head. It's not an easy film to follow. It's not just, oh, let's do some shooting, let's have a lot of sex, let's just tell stories. No, it's multi-layered, it's a critical thinking type of film. That's just my take on it. So thank you so much for stopping by. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 18th annual African American Black Film Festival here in New York City, the first time ever in New York City where we closed it down with the sweet blood of Jesus. There were some folk that were conflicted. There were some folk that weren't conflicted. There were some folk who really got the message, who really thought Spike Lee nailed this movie. I thought it was an amazing piece of cinematography. I'm glad that he chose ABFF. I'm glad that he chose New York City to show us his Kickstarter, which he's got so much black about, to show us the sweet blood of Jesus. So follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the sweet blood of Jesus. Make sure you watch it. I'm Tanish Laverne Grant. Peace.